What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I made this uh, sicko mode 3D rotating logo. Um, so one of the first steps was I grabbed a JPEG image from Google. Usually it works best if it's solid colors, nothing too complex with like fading or gradients or anything like that. So we want something with clean solid uh, colors and I'm going to use this image here. I'm just going to save it to my um, sicko mode folder and we're going to open up a program called 3d builder which is free uh, you're going to go to import image and we're going to select the image we just saved and let's find that folder boom cool next we're just going to hit the inverse button up top and that'll automatically turn it into like a 3d icon it'll take out all the white and that's pretty much it to make a 3d logo we're going to save it and then we're just going to export it as a um, OBJ or any other format. I prefer OBJ just because it's easiest for Blender. So we're going to choose OBJ, just save that under the same uh, sicko mode folder, save it again, whatevs, save it again, yes. Now we're just going to open up Blender. And you want to make sure that you have the Spark AR toolkit before you open up Blender. Um, this will allow you to export all of the 3D models that you use with Blender. It'll allow you to export them so that it's a small enough file size for Spark AR. Um, so it's a free toolkit. You just download it in the uh, Spark website. I'll leave it in the description for you guys. But just follow the simple uh, procedure there to install it to Blender. And after you've got that installed, then we can kick open Blender. We're gonna uh, delete all this extra stuff here because we don't need it. And we're gonna go to import. We're gonna look for our 3D model here under the sicko folder. Zoom out or zoom in depending how big your logo is. And it should be right there. And we don't want to change any color or sizing right now. We can change all of that in the Spark AR. Um, all we want to do is make it a lower polygon count so that it's a good enough file size for Spark AR. So we're going to go to Spark AR toolkit on the side there, sidebar. Uh, we're going to make sure that everything's joined into one solid form. So we're going to hit Control J. After you hit that, it's in one form, nice and clean. We're gonna reduce the polygon counts. Uh, I did 50%, but you guys can choose any other number. Um, and you're gonna export the mesh, save it again, give it a different name. I called it Mini Spark. Um, and this is the file that we're gonna use for Spark AR. Now, you will lose some detail if you reduce the polygon count too much, uh, but nothing to worry about. So Spark AR, you can see there's a ton of templates here. We're just gonna choose the one that we wanna use for this, which will be the uh, rotating one there. And the layout's already done for us. All the, the uh, programming at the bottom, all the nodes are done for us. It's a template. So all we have to do is import the 3D model, Mini Spark, and I'm just gonna put it up there on the uh, layer panel. You can drag it up there, plop it down, perfect. I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna hit the scale icon. And now there are three axis points on this uh, scale icon and each of them do a different thing. So if I grab the green one there, it's gonna smush it horizontally if I grab the blue one there, it's going to scale it down proportionally so that nothing is uh, changed in width or height. And the last one there changes the height. So I'm just going to scale it down proportionally just up to where I like it right there. And now it's way too thick, obviously. So I'm going to smush it down uh, again from the different axis point. Perfect. And now we have it just as I like it. And then I'm just gonna move it around a little bit, center it, cool. 
and then the last one there you can rotate it if you'd like that's what it does um, hit play and we have our logo so far now I just deleted the uh, replacement anchor there just so that our logo is the only one on the template and next you're probably gonna want to change the color so whoops let's not delete that um, so you're gonna go down to the uh, mini spark there and choose the color panel you can change the color and as you can see it's a little hard to distinguish because of there not being any shadow shading so we're just gonna change the shader type and you can play around with it as you can see there is some sharp cuts on the edge there and that is because we reduced the polygon count by 50% if you reduced it by 10% the edges wouldn't be as sharp um, but because I was fine with uh, having the sharper cuts for this for the sake of file size that's why it came out that way so we're just gonna choose a shader type that we want and then just gonna choose a color real quick boom and next uh, you're pretty much done now all you have to do is export the file and all the file size is good it's compatible because we use the spark AR toolkit so it's a nice digestible size for our phones we're gonna wait for that to load it'll kick open Facebook um, just give it a title you can choose if you want it on Instagram Facebook whatever it's gonna be for Instagram choose a category choose a couple categories uh, after you've got the categories you're just gonna add a bunch of like keywords tags that are relevant to the filter um, and then we're gonna need to upload a demo video so after you've beat the icon there we're gonna save uh, after you put the icon up there we're gonna hit save on the top right give it a little description as well all right so after that hit save it's gonna give you a test on device link send that to yourself uh, and then open the link on Instagram and save the video of you using the filter and then send it to yourself again to the computer open it on the computer and upload it and now you've got your demo video uploaded and that video is what's going to show up on your Instagram profile so once you're satisfied with that hit submit and it should take you about two um, two to ten days depending on your account and what the filter is and how the AI likes you <laughs> um, and then you can see your spark AR hub after like a week of your filter being up it'll give you like some stats that you can view um, so you can view like over the last 28 days last week over the lifetime and you can just uh, view all of your engagement how many clicks it gets, how many people have saved a photo with your filter, all that stuff. And yeah, so that's how you do it. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.